This is ASRock X299 Creator motherboard, as you can see. The customer bought it like a couple of years ago and he messed up the system. We been able to fix it. Now I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows in it. Either if you would like Windows 10 or 11, doesn't matter. The procedure would be the same and would like to install Windows in UEFI format. Okay, so what are you going to do? We're going to get into the BIOS, change a couple of major settings to enable the UEFI, and then we'll connect our Windows 11 installer. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. It would be in the description. All right, so this is the ASRock X299 PC, and here is the BIOS. So today we're going to enable the USB boot in UEFI. I do have Windows 11 installer, the bootable one. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So let's start. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect into any USB port of this machine. Let's connect here, but it's always suggested to connect back of the computer that much easier and much faster. All right. And then we're going to restart the system or we can press and hold the power button to switch it off and turn back on. While you turn back on, we need to keep pressing F2. So we're gonna press F2 as you can see. All right. So we are on the main screen that we can see the modern of everything is here. But we need to go to advanced section and check if there is anything. So from advanced section, we're gonna to go to NVMe configuration, which is fine, it shows. And then let's go back. Then we need to go to USB configuration, which is really important. Let's click here. And as you can see, all the USB ports are enabled. That's what we need to do. Make sure it's like that. And also to tell you if any USB things are connected right here. Then we can go to UEFI setup style because we're gonna install in UEFI. We can do advanced mode and easy mode. Okay. Let's do advanced mode anyway. That's fine. It wouldn't make that much difference. Now, we need to go back to security section. If you click here, it's gonna take us. And as you can see, it shows secure boot configuration right here. If you click here, it's gonna show you exactly how it is. If you enable it, it would support Windows 8 to later version. So we must need to make it enable because we're gonna install Windows 11 in it. So let's click here and go to enable. Secure boot can be enabled when the system in user mode repeat operation after enrolling flat from key pk okay let's go back advanced that's good i can see my usb stick is right here and this is the internal all right so from here what he can do, we can do the boot priority option. As you can see, this is my USB stick. Now let's check if it does work. I think it should work anyway. That's all fine. I can see here it shows it's all fine. Now boot priority option EVFI. That should be okay. And it shows EZ mode. Easy mode is there. And now what are you going to do? We're going to save the changes. And we're going to exit it. So let's do that. Yeah. Or we can keep pressing F2. You need to keep pressing F11 to get into temporary boot option. And I can see the second one is my USB. I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna hit enter. So now we can see the blue screen means setup screen. So from here, we're going to choose our language and other stuff. And we're going to hit next. Install now. And now we need to accept the terms and condition. Also need to enter the product key, which I don't have it. There are multiple service packs. So I'm going to choose my one. Hit next. Accept the terms and condition. Choose the bottom option. And very careful when you delete anything here, because if you delete the partition, you're going to lose your existing data. So back it up before you get to this point. Now we're going to hit next and it's going to copy every single thing into the main directory. And it's going to take a couple of restart then 
windows should be all used and it should be ready so let's see the until and if it is successful or not So finally the Windows 11 is ready. Now we might need to update all the drivers and we need to have internet connection to do that. So here is the simple trick. For Windows 11 and 10 EVFI installation, you don't need to change that much settings. Uh, it did work even the secure boot was not completely enabled and everything took okay. So thank you so much for enjoying the video. If you do like, please subscribe. Bye for now.